Hello everyone and welcome to the most popular type of entertainment, bed talk. <clears throat> so this is basically like a stand-up comedy, but the difference is I'm talking about things straight from my bed and it's like really popular. I mean, if you are watching this right now and you have no idea who I am, you should know one thing. You are living under a rock, a huge one. Like ask your friends about me, share them a link to this video, they will recognize me right away. If they don't, better, better change your friends, because otherwise you will never get out of this rock. Anyway, the microphone is back, uh, device is working, so uh, as I mentioned in the last episode, I, I wanted to give this broken device to a homeless guy, but he, instead of just taking it, he fixed it. So, finally, I can feel like on a serious podcast. Uh, today I want to speak about two topics uh, that are completely not related to each other. The first one is, I know what the highest level of civilization development is. And the second one, why indigenous people? So, le let's go with the first one. According to Kardashev scale, uh, the civilization that has the highest level of development of development is that one that that can control the whole universe so basically gods i think that's not quite true uh, because what about the civilization that's so highly developed that they just got bored with everything and now all they are doing doing is just roasting less developed civilizations that that's the highest level of development like, imagine them just showing up near the Earth, that they, they're gonna send a message to humans like, we wanna fight with you, be ready. And then they will wait until humans, like, build all the weapons, spaceships, everyone will panic, economy collapse, and uh, basically until humans are like, okay, we are crouching, but we are ready to fight. And after that, they just leave. That's the type of aliens I would love, like, they're gonna just war roast whole universe like this, that, that, that's really... So, l let's move to the second topic. Why indigenous people? I know, this question may confuse a lot of people, but let me explain. Uh, first of all, it's really impressive that on this planet there are still some people that are not addicted to TikTok. I mean, I, I barely can believe this. Uh, but my point is, why? Wh why didn't they just join us? Why didn't they develop at all? I mean, they are basically living in the same way as they were living uh, 3000 years ago. Nothing has really changed. So, why? In my opinion, they just don't want to copy us. They are waiting until they create something new, I don't know, some new kind of vegan electricity. Uh, I think indigenous people are just that type of people who want too much to be original. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.